Understanding the Software Development Lifecycle, SDLC, is crucial for a QA professional. It not only enables them to work better within the team, but also helps to ensure software quality by providing the correct processes. Let's explore further. SDLC SDLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle. It is a process used by software development teams to plan, design, build, test, and deploy software. The SDLC provides a structured approach to software development that helps ensure quality and consistency throughout the development process. The phases of the SDLC can vary depending on the specific methodology used, but typically include the following. Planning phase. This phase involves gathering requirements, defining project scope, identifying goals and objectives, and creating a project plan. Analysis phase. During this phase, the software requirements are analyzed and documented. The software development team determines the feasibility of the project, identifies risks, and creates a detailed project plan. Design phase. This phase involves creating a detailed design of the software. This includes creating technical specifications, architecture design, database design, and user interface design. Implementation phase. In this phase, the software is developed based on the design created in the previous phase. The code is written, and the software is tested to ensure it meets the specifications and requirements. Testing phase. During this phase, the software is tested to ensure it meets the quality standards and works as intended. This includes unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. Deployment phase. Once the software is tested and approved, it is deployed to the production environment. Maintenance phase. This phase involves maintaining the software, fixing bugs, and making updates to ensure it continues to meet the changing needs of the users and the organization. The SDLC provides a framework for software development teams to work within, ensuring that software is developed in a consistent and structured manner, and that it meets the needs of the users and the organization. How many methodologies for SDLC? There are several methodologies for SDLC, Software Development Life Cycle. Some of the most commonly used methodologies are Waterfall Methodology. This is a linear sequential approach to software development where each phase of the SDLC is completed before moving on to the next phase. It is a highly structured and sequential approach, and each phase has specific deliverables and milestones. Agile Methodology. This is an iterative and incremental approach to software development where software is developed in short iterations or sprints. It emphasizes collaboration, flexibility, and rapid response to change. Scrum Methodology This is a framework for implementing the Agile methodology. It involves the development of software in short sprints, with daily stand-up meetings and a focus on delivering working software in each sprint. Kanban methodology, this is a visual framework for implementing the Agile methodology. It emphasizes continuous delivery and the use of visual cues to manage workflow. Lean methodology, this is a methodology that focuses on eliminating waste and increasing efficiency in the software development process. Spiral methodology, this is an iterative and incremental approach to software development that combines elements of both the waterfall and agile methodologies. It emphasizes risk management and provides a framework for continuous improvement. D-model methodology. This is a variation of the waterfall methodology that emphasizes the importance of testing throughout the SDLC. It emphasizes testing at each stage of the SDLC from requirements gathering to deployment. Each methodology has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the choice of methodology depends on the specific needs of the project and the organization. Agile, the famous one. Agile is currently the most popular methodology for software development. 
Its popularity has increased significantly over the past few years as it provides a flexible and iterative approach to software development that can adapt to changing requirements and customer needs. Agile methodology emphasizes collaboration, continuous improvement, and rapid delivery of working software in short iterations or sprints. It allows development teams to respond quickly to changes and feedback, delivering value to customers faster. Many organizations have adopted Agile and its various frameworks such as Scrum, Kanban, and Lean. Agile is particularly popular in the software development industry, but it has also been applied successfully in other industries such as marketing, finance, and healthcare. Scrum, this is a framework for implementing the Agile methodology. In Scrum, there are several activities that are used to plan and manage the development process. These activities are designed to ensure that the team stays on track and that progress is made toward the goals of the project. Here are the main activities in Scrum. Sprint planning. At the beginning of each sprint, the team holds a sprint planning meeting to determine the scope of work for the sprint. The team reviews the product backlog, selects items to work on, and creates a sprint backlog. Daily Scrum. This is a short daily meeting where the team comes together to discuss progress and plan for the day. Each team member gives an update on their work, identifies any impediments, and discusses how they plan to move forward. Sprint Review At the end of each sprint, the team holds a sprint review meeting to demonstrate the work that has been completed. The team presents the completed work to stakeholders, receives feedback, and identifies areas for improvement. Sprint Retrospective This is a meeting that is held at the end of each sprint to reflect on the previous sprint and identify opportunities for improvement. The team discusses what went well, what didn't go well, and identifies actions to improve the process. Backlog Refinement This is an ongoing process where the team reviews and prioritizes items in the product backlog. The team may also break down larger items into smaller, more manageable pieces. Scrum of Scrums This is a meeting that is held between multiple Scrum teams working on the same project. The teams come together to discuss progress, dependencies, and any issues that may impact the project as a whole. These activities are designed to support the Scrum framework and ensure that the team stays on track and delivers working software in each sprint. Hopefully this podcast will give you a general about SDLC, Agile, and Scrum activities. Thank you.